You're watching The Ugly Inside. Subscribe below. Welcome along to another episode of TY Transfer Talk and the reports have come in that Saints are about to make their second signing of the summer and the name is Mario Lamina from Juventus. Reported at about £16 million, rising to about 20 with £4 million with add-ons. Apparently he's a 23 years old, played for Juve Marseille and a Gabonese international box-to-box -box aggressive midfielder. What do we know of Lamina and how can he fit, fit into Saints? What we know about Lamina, Lamina was born, 20, will be 24 on 1st of September. Uh, he saw, he's played for Juventus for the last two seasons, first on loan, second as a, you know, with the loan signing being made permanent. Previously he had two years in France at Olympique Marseille and prior to that he played for Le Orient, who are no relation to Le Orient in the uh, conference. So, no, I don't really know a lot about him apart from that. Um, he, he seems to be a big, strong player in the Wanyama mould, although not as, uh, what's the word to say, a bit more mobile than Wanyama. He's six foot, um, big, strong, box-to-box -box midfielder who, according to the reports I've read, can win a ball and start attacking plays fairly quickly with it. Uh, so he looks to be what we need in that position, given that our... Uh, Pellegrino seems to want to play two holding midfield players. He can also play uh, as a winger or a fullback or a wing back. He's got the pace. He's, uh, he's meant to be pretty quick. Uh, so, yeah, it looks a good signing on the face of it. It's not a signing which I think should be a priority for us. You know, we've got probably five or six central midfielders, but Pellegrino, and, you know, she's good if he's doing it, seems to have spotted, you know, somewhere he can improve the team or it needs improving and he's going to do it. So. Now, with the Lamina signing, it looks like somebody's going to be pushed out of midfield, whether it's Classy, Hoiberg, or even Davis. Where, uh, what does that mean for Davis? Does it mean he's pushed up higher on the pitch and allow perhaps perhaps Tadic or Ward Prowse be on the bench? Possibly Ward Prowse be pushed up higher. I, that's up to the boss. That's up to the boss where he sees him fits in. Whether he, he might start on the bench, I know it's a lot of money to have a, a player off the bench, but we had it last season with Buffal for for much of the season, so. Where he fits in is 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 just up to the. He's Super Mario, isn't he? So he's got to be good. You know? <laughs> but yeah, Lamine, Lamine. I don't know nothing about him. Nick Nick seems to know everything about him. So um, magic of Wikipedia. No, the magic of Wikipedia. <laughs> no, it's it's. He it comes it with a bad. He apparently comes with a bad temper as well. Very petulant. So imagine that Romeo on eleven cards last oh, season. Yeah. Lamina perhaps picking up another ten of those this season. Yeah. Will be suspended every every other. Every other well, month. You're going to need your squad, aren't you? Yeah. So uh, there, there, it's there it comes game. in. Football's a squad game, and, and what we know about Pellegrino uh, is that he seems to like to use use the squad and, and use it tactically. And as you say, Romu um, has a pension for getting booked. This guy does it. I mean, he was sent off in France for punching someone in the groin. So, uh, <laughs> uh, again, the, the magic of Wikipedia, you know, I'm on time to do these interviews, so I've got the t time to. Uh, <laughs> To look it up, but I do think that last season Saints were found a bit wanting physically, strength-wise in mm. midfield, and this could be the solution to that problem because Romeo, yes, but he was he was just on his own sometimes mm. putting the tackles in. Yeah. So yeah, sometimes we are a little bit wanting physically wise, so he might give us something we haven't got mm. or we haven't got in abundance. I think it will give him the freedom as well because Romeo's always the one to sit back, release the ball deep. Uh, Davis is often now being pushed up uh, in the counter-attack. It may allow Davis to sit in the 10 and Lamina to, to, to join him, perhaps even go to a 4-1-4-1. Four, one, four, one. Yeah, well, the problem last season uh, was that when we when we lost Virgil van Dijk and we, we had to play Yoshida and Stevens in the middle, uh, we initially went out and we, we had some good results. We went and scored four at Sunderland, we scored four, four at Watford, but we conceded three against Watford. We conceded soft goals against West Ham. And what I think it meant was the manager suddenly realised that, you know, Romu couldn't do it all on his own and he sat deep. And, we, and that's why we didn't score in the last six games at home because we were sat deep protecting our defence to make sure that, couldn't, uh, that they, we didn't get caught on the counter-attack like we did against Swansea away. Swansea away had two attacks when we lost 2-1 to them and both of them, they counter-attacked and scored. Uh, so... It's good to see that he's changing it. And I mean, if we're thinking about it, maybe I am overthinking it here. He's looking at it and saying, I am weak in the central defensive position. Even if we get one in, we've still got the Van Dyke issue. So we've got to look to be strong. So 
he wants his strong two in the middle and then he's got a plethora of players that he can play in front he can play ward prowse to spray the ball about you know we get a goal or two up against swansea bring on ward prowse spray the ball around you've got stephen davis to close out games come on buzz around get the ball tidy it up pass it five yards you've got hoshberger i think is a good player and you've got classy who i think is a good player although i think it does spell the end probably for classy yeah, yeah. and i would think it would be classy given hoiberg hodgeberg yep. is the the, the latest man in uh, so uh, you know it's, it's going to be a good signing I think okay well then let us know in the comments below if there's any Italian fans uh, that's watched Lamina over the last couple of years what can we expect of them but leave us your thoughts in below how we can fit Saints is it a good signing leave us your likes your thoughts and subscribe for more